Hello and welcome to yet another Informatica Cloud support video. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Secure Agents Upgrade Checklist. And perhaps we're going to see in detail what are the best practices that we recommend to have an upgrade without any hiccups. Cloud upgrades are a manifestation of our constant pursuit to improve our services. Informatica Cloud is upgraded globally on a periodic fashion. Every upgrade brings in a whole new set of features and functionalities, and it also ensures that all our customers are always on the latest version of Informatica Cloud. Just as we upgrade our cloud environment, we also upgrade the secure agent at the customer end. What this means is that the customer's secure agent, when it checks for an upgrade and then it's available, it goes ahead and auto upgrades itself. For such a functionality, there are various factors that can govern and decide whether the upgrade is going to go through seamlessly or if it could have some challenges that could be caused by multiple factors. Could be network, could be the firewall, or could be the local system policy. For reasons beyond our control, the secure agent sometimes might not upgrade fully. In this video, we're going to share a quick few best practices that we think would help you to have a seamless upgrade. One of the major concerns that we get to see is sometimes customers do not take into account that an upgrade is going to take a lot more space than what a standard secure agent directory would otherwise have. So we conservatively kind of, you know, try to estimate that you keep about two times the actual size of the current secure agent installation and one GB extra. This might sound a lot, but the way that the upgrade works basically goes ahead and backs up your existing directory so that it's going to consume twice the amount of size theoretically. And then we are also talking about one GB of space that could be left behind for the executable to download and extract all by itself until the complete installation is through. Please always remember that if you think that the size is actually more on the secure agent, there are multiple ways that you can go ahead and reduce the total footprint. You can always contact global customer support who can help you out on this. Now, one other thing that we happen to see is sometimes when someone opens a log file or any kind of folders that's related to the secure agent directory, it will stop the secure agent from being able to upgrade all by itself. What we always recommend is during the upgrade window, just be conscious that you close all the files and folders that are related to the secure agent. This not only applies to users, it also applies to third party applications that might be accessing these files and folders. Just be conscious that you know that you don't have them triggered and they are turned down during the upgrade window. This is important if you have some third party libraries and if you're using functionalities, you know, like security certificates, if you have configuration files for the third party utilities that are lying under, you might want to have them backed up. Perhaps we always recommend that there is a dedicated folder for such files to exist. It is under the secure agent directory. The path is main bin RDTM extra. You can go ahead and place all your files over here and right after the upgrade, the upgrade will automatically pull all the files from the RDTM extra bin, uh, I'm sorry, extra directory and put that back into it so that you don't have to do anything manual. But if you have any other file lying outside of this directory, then you will have to do it manually. So it's best practice to back it up in advance. Now, this is pretty much an important aspect of it. Technically, Informatica Cloud is going to be brought down during the upgrade window. We have a downtime that we publicize well in advance and it spans X number of hours. But we might want to be conscious of the fact that sometimes you will have few jobs running which might well have started before the upgrade window triggered. So what that means is those jobs are anyways going to fail. But in the in while they fail, one of the important aspect of it is they might be running and the services are up and running at that point of time, causing the upgrade to have a bit of difficulty. What we recommend is if you can calculate the way that the jobs have been designed, and if you decide that some of the jobs, if they trigger, 
are going to have some concerns that their completion will not be before the actual upgrade. You can choose to enable the blackout period. So what this gives you is this gives you the flexibility to stop the schedules from running only during the specified time. And this isn't useful only during the upgrade window. Of course, you can use it for even your local network outages or whatever that you have as a planned outage. Now, we also make it as a suggestion. This isn't mandatory per se, but if you, do, if you do not think that there is anything that is a mission critical job that is running during the upgrade day during that window, and if you do have some manpower who can monitor the performance of the secure agent, what we do recommend is turn down the secure agent well and truly before the actual upgrade. What this does is, since it's a manual turn down, it increases the probability of all services being shut down properly on a machine and you bring it out after the upgrade is over. So it's going to go ahead and check for the upgrade. And once the upgrade is available, the agent is going to download the up upgrade automatically and it will upgrade itself. So this is a better way of upgrading for environments that are less forgiving when an application attempts to upgrade all by itself rather than a user. So that pretty much completes whatever that we have uh, as best practices for the upgrade. If you have any questions or feedback, please do send them across to support videos at informatica.com or you can follow us on Twitter. It's InfaSupport on Twitter. Until we meet next time, you have a great day ahead.